When we 
than when we first begun. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. was blind, but now I see. Hold it, This is our same formation turn and face the tablet. Top the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's cause of justice. I fly majestically over great institutions of learning. I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, truth, honor, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I am arrogant. I am proud. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am saluted. I am respected. I am revered. I am loved and I am feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Antioch, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the jungle of Guam, Okinawa, Tara, Korea, Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, Afghanistan, and a score of other places long forgotten by all, except by those who were there with me. I, I was there. I led my sailors and marines. I followed them. I watched over them. They loved me. I was on a small hill in Iwo Jima. I was battle-worn and tired, but my sailors and marines cheered me. I was proud. I was at Ground Zero in New York City on September 11, 
as cowardly fanatics attacked America. I was raised from the ashes of once proud buildings by brave firefighters, heroes who risked their lives to save others, showing all that America, although bloodied, would never be beaten. Those who would destroy me cannot win, for I am the symbol of freedom, of one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my own country. And when it is done by those whom I have served with in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the surely bonds of earth, and from my vantage point on the moon, I stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. I have been a silent witness of all of America's finest hours, but my finest hour comes when I am torn into strips and used as bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly half mass to honor my soldiers, my sailors, my airmen, and my marines. And when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the gravesite of her fallen son or daughter, I am proud. My name is Old Glory. Long may I weigh, dear God, my God, long may I weigh. gentlemen, what you just witnessed was military honors. Military honors is our nation's way of expressing its gratitude to the men and women that put on a uniform for this great country of ours. Military honors are earned, they're not just given. Ken earned his. Military honors today consisted of the rifle volley, the plane attacks, and the folding of the flag. As I mentioned, the symbolism was associated with every individual thing you saw out here today. You notice it was three volleys. Why three? Why just three? During the Civil War, after the battles were fought and the armies would retreat back to their camps, they would send out a, a detail to collect the fallen. Once their fallen was collected and taken back to the camp, they would fire three volleys, indicating we have taken care of our fallen. Today, our nation fired three volleys, taking care of our fallen. The plane attacks. 24 notes, possibly the most beautiful uh, melody of notes you'll ever hear, but yet it'll elicit a different emotional response in every single one of us. Taps is played at the end of day in every military installation, indicating the end of day. In other words, your work is done, you can rest now. Ken's work done, he is now resting. The folding of the flag took 13 folds to get the flag in that shape. You notice the shape of the flag. It resembled the same shape of the hats that were worn by our first military under General George Washington. Thirteen folds were the original 13 colonies of this great nation of ours. Every fold has symbolism associated with it. The first fold, the symbol of life. The second fold is our belief in eternal life. All the way to the 13th fold, which is our nation's model of in God we trust. Now you notice when the flag came out, it was already folded. Why did they unfold it and fold it again? The nation is speaking for each fold. When the flag was brought out originally, the nation has not spoken. Every motion, every sight, every sound you heard here today is our nation bowing its head in gratitude. When the flag was being folded, it was, it was expressing every individual fold of the flag. Jesus' last words on the cross were, it is finished. He didn't say, I am finished. He said, it is finished. That he finished the work that our Heavenly Father sent him down to do. Today, he can finish his work. And in doing so, he touched every single one of you that is here today. Every one of you here came today to say farewell and express your thanks to Ken. 
But by being here, by physically being here, you're also saying thank you. Thank you, Ken, for the man that you were. Thank you in the manner in which you touched me. I'm sure he's looking down right now and seeing the crowd, and he's saying, you know, I did all right. So. <laughs> we are so fortunate that we have a country that can produce a man like him. Today, the family, you lost a loved one. We lost a brother. Our nation lost a savior. We would now like to present a certificate indicating every individual fold of the flag. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I'd thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Where the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, oh, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, New York to L.A., where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say.
Cause there ain't no 